I'm Joel Lopez in Loxahatchee near the site of a proposed ATV and campground park. And now residents that live nearby are asking commissioners to hit the brakes. Living on a farm in Loxahatchee. Why did you choose to live here? Uh, because it was quiet. William and young Dirks have grown mangoes and bananas for the last 10 years. This is your passion project. Oh yeah, we we're, we both retired. I'm a former engineer. She was a nurse her whole career. But their quiet slice of paradise could be spoiled by the sound of a proposed ATV park down the road. I'm just worried about this noise. If it's going to be intolerable, I'll just have to plan on moving. I don't want to spend my retirement years here. This is the site of the proposed ATV park, and each vehicle would be limited to about 97 decibels, which is almost as loud as a helicopter. And by the time the sound reaches homes less than a mile away, it could sound as loud as city traffic. What's the plan to make sure that ATVs stay under 97 decibels? We've talked with an operator who's uh, fully understanding of the, that we're, you know, um, that there are neighbors and that's there's something they feel like they can easily, um, easily accommodate. Alan Fant with GL Home says operators would regulate the noise level. They proposed eight foot high berms, limited operating hours, and only allowing ATVs and side by side vehicles of a certain size. So that also has an effect on, on noise and it also has an effect on the number and types of vehicles and the amount of people that could be coming into the you know, into the site. As for the Dirks. I don't have any confidence that, that it's mm -hmm. going to be managed and they're going to keep the sound levels down. Palm Beach County commissioners are voting on a land swap deal, which if approved, could get this project in motion. Reporting in Loxahatchee, Joel Lopez, WPTV News Channel 5.